and unable to pull off the onside kick. The hands team comes away with the football. Quarters formation here for the defense. First down at the 46. He's got the catch. The Vikings now move the chains. That's awesome. Every time you pick up a first down, what does that do? It shortens the game and also keeps your defense on the sideline, and they get the, get rested up and ready for their turn. But you got a lead here. It's a small one in the second half. Keep getting those first downs. This will be second down. We're late in the fourth, and the offense is just trying to sit on the lead. But Michael James gets the carry. Taylor is able to read that play and make the hit. Two minutes to go before this one's in the books. Coming to the line at the 25. The Vikings packing the box here. 46 formation. Vic in shotgun formation. And Cooper is able to get hold of it. Again, the offensive coordinator's done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. James handed the football. Takes the plane. Touchdown. Defense is going to be mad about this. They were thinking run. They had the defense called. It was right. But they're not able to stop the surge by the offensive line. And they let the running back get in there for the TD. Woodson's running this one out. And it's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. The Vikings are set to take the field again on offense after a crazy sequence that didn't go their way. That turnover led to turnover points. And now let's see if the offense can get that back, though. Yeah, listen, I know they're going to be motivated because after they turned the football over last time, the coaches took them to the sideline and just gave them heck. That's for sure. That's a good way of seeing it. So motivation, can't make those kind of mistakes. You've got to go out there and be much better. First down, pressure on every snap now. Johnson's going to take the handoff now. Mosley's all over the ball carrier. you got to know the situations here as a player. And I'm sure he was told in the huddle by the quarterback, if you get a chance running the football, get out of bounds, save the time for us because we need it. Gets tackled in bounds, and now the clock is really working against him. They're certainly in four down territory as well. The Vikings from the 27. Stands in the pocket. Nice catch. Going to, going to take it home for the touchdown. Wow, so they come up with the big touchdown here in the late going. And now stage two. They must get the two-point conversion to tie the game. Yeah, they got to get it done. I'll say this. Every team usually has four or five two-point conversion plays ready to go we'll see which one the offense comes out with you talk about momentum that turns into an eight-point trip the touchdown and the two this offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator they're all aggressive so hey well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown they want to get that extra point or two points nice job that time Everything had to come through to send this game to overtime. They got the touchdown. And now they've got the two with just seconds remaining in regulation. Every time this offense has needed a big play today, they have come through in the clutch. And that time they did it on the two-point conversion. And with no options, he goes ahead and throws it away. Jim, I'll tell you this. Quarterbacks hate throwing the football away. You know why? Because it just goes down in the record books as an incompletion. So, good job that time. The QB looked, nobody opened, and he finally gets rid of the football. And he's forced to the ground. Oh, there's nothing worse as a quarterback to have pressure up the middle from an interior defensive tackle. Uh, hard to see down the field, can't make a decision, and that time it leads to a sack. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. Should have had it. 
late in the game the defense has to be aggressive they are this time on third down tie football game late in the fourth quarter they stay aggressive and they get it done looking for a lane on the return they tackle him at the 26 yard line the offense comes onto to the field after the punt they can steer this game towards overtime or they can gamble a little bit and go for the win jim i would not gamble in a situation like this you have all the control on the offensive side play it safe and you hope somebody breaks a play to get that offense going then you can get or try to go for the score the vikings signal for the timeout and that's the first one they've used They come to the line, and it's first down. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Down the field. Almost intercepted. So here in overtime, the rules change. If you receive the ball first and get a touchdown, the game is over. However, if you take the ball down on your first drive and only manage a field goal, the other team will have a chance to tie or win the game. And if both teams get field goals on their opening drives, the next team to score from there will win the game. He'll take the first snap here in overtime. As the first down, now looking for more. Lane's going to make the tackle. Johnson's a running back. After he makes a big run like this, he gets excited. He is just looking for his next carry. Offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. First down at the 50. Incomplete, looking underneath that time. Well, your teammates are really going to respect you after something like this. Anytime you're on that field as an athlete, and when you give all your effort to every single play like that time, how about that? Just giving every bit of effort he can to make the catch, not able to get it. But what a job in it. The Vikings defense now is going to go nickel. Second and ten. And it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. Miller's one of those guys. If he drops a pass or makes a mistake on the field, he doesn't make excuses. He knows no matter what the circumstances are, if you get your hands on the football as a receiver in the NFL, everybody expects you to make the catch. The Vikings come to the line. First down marker at the 40. Tabers taking off. So now they'll call on Kern to punt the football. They have just flipped field position thanks to that punt. And now the offense is really backed into a corner. The Vikings got absolutely nothing out of their previous possession. And here they are back on the field. Another three and out, I would have to think, would be very demoralizing to this team right now, Phil. Yeah, it's going to be demoralizing to the offense, but I'll tell you who's going to be more demoralized is the defense because they need to sit on the sidelines and get a little rest. So I know there's a lot of pressure on this offense right now. Second down and eight. In the end, it picks up only a yard. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. Halfway into the overtime period. Scans the field. And he's going to be sacked. So just three plays and out for the offense. The Vikings are going to punt the football. Wayne 
Evans is tackled right at the 35. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. The fumble by the kick return team and look out. The football goes out there. They make the recovery. Well, good job of them. First down at the 35. Johnson's tackle right at the 35. Now the offense in their hurry up. The Vikings will take the snap from the 35. Taylor's running away from the pressure. But it falls incomplete. Well, but it's third long. I'll just say this. Be very careful on the offensive side. It'll be third down. The Vikings will look to get to the 45 to pick up a first down. And it's batted down. The Vikings really don't have much of a chance of picking up this first down. It's third long. Of course, the defense is looking for passes down the field. They're all over everything, and the pass goes incomplete. Going for it on fourth down. The Vikings with a nickel look here on defense. The Vikings will take the snap from the 35. Going deep. The Vikings turn the ball over on downs. They come to the line of scrimmage in an excellent starting point. Double tight end formation. Well, Michael James. Space to work. Taylor's there that time for the tackle. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. James is going to be tired after this run. That is a good long run. The offensive line was terrific, and he does a good job finding a hole and picking up those yards. First down and 10. James got it. Screen. Breaks at the tackle. Here we have second down. Let's go! Two, six, eight. Two, six, eight. Three step drop. Looking middle that time, and it's incomplete. That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so aggressive, so athletic. They go all out for every catch. That time, he just lets it all go. Not able to make the catch, but I'll give him an A for effort. The offense stops the clock right away with a timeout. Offense is back on the field on fourth and eight. Quarters formation here for the defense. James taking it on the screen. The Vikings thought they had a play that was going to work on fourth and long. Look, that's a great situation for the defense to be in, and they come through and stop the offense. The Vikings will try to hold on to the football. This has been one big turnover after another, Phil. Just what the coaches talked about in our meetings with them this week about ball security. It's not happening here. Well, it tells you the uh, players did not listen to the coaches, that's for sure, because ball security is not what we're seeing out there. I know this. Next week in practice, there's going to be a lot of drills about hanging on to the football. Has the reception all alone. This is one of those guys, when you talk about receivers, no matter what, he is always...